Hello everyone and welcome back to another JavaFX tutorial. I'm Brian from IndieProgrammer.com and as always you can support this channel and series on IndieProgrammer.com slash Patreon. So, the last time we left off we made a window here and it's pretty cool, it can move around, but there's no content in it, we can click in there, nothing really happens, there's no text. Uh, pretty boring. Good as a window, bad as a content creator, producer, server, I don't know. So this episode we are going to be making a button. Now this is pretty easy. We are going to go down here in our start method down here. Uh, this program isn't super well laid out because the way this tutorial series works is we're just kind of building on it and it was we learn new things. Uh, so it won't be completely optimized the way that you'd want to have an actual application working. Um, so just keep that in mind. So we're going to make the button down here. Name it button button equals new button and go ahead and import that. Now here's why I was saying I don't just press control shift O uh, because that would import, I believe the top option, which is AWT. We don't want that. That would be the old swing style button. We want the new Java FX button. Okay. So go ahead and click that one. And now that should get rid of that error. And now we have a blank constructor in here, which is fine because next we can set the text by calling button dot set text. And this will be the actual text that appears on top of your button that you want people to click. Uh, so let's go to name this click me. Okay. Another way we could do this is we could delete this line right here. And inside the constructor, we could pass a name as well. So go ahead and pass Brian. Okay. Now, if we run this, it won't be on our screen just yet because we haven't actually added it to the scene or the window or the layout. Uh, we created it, but it's not being used. That's what this warning is right here. So let's exit this out. And below the button, we're going to add it to our layout. So we'll go to layout. Now, remember I said there's different kinds of layouts for JavaFX applications. We chose a border pane layout, which means there's a specific way that you add content to the layout for it to be seen by the, well, by the scene. So for this, we go to layout.set, and there's a few options. We could do set center, we could do set left, right, bottom, or top. And these are all pretty self-explanatory, I think. It literally is setting where on the window your button will appear. So I'm gonna go ahead and do set center. Put it in the very center of our screen, and we're just gonna pass button. Now if we run this, you can see we have a button in the middle of our screen. It doesn't have any actions applied to it yet, but we can click it and you can see it uh, responds to our clicking, scrolling over it, clicking, holding it down, and it's, a, it's an active button, okay? See, now that wasn't that hard at all, was it? I think you guys are really gonna like JavaFX as we get further in these, these little tutorials here. Uh, one more thing before we sign off is if we run our window, you can see we actually have no name here. We have the default icon, uh, but we have no title for our window. So before I sign off this video, I think we should add a title. It only seems correct. Down here at the bottom, I'm going to say window dot set title, and I'll just name it indieprogrammer.com. Okay. Now, if we run this, you can see our titles up in the, the title bar here. And if we scroll over it, uh, if you're on windows, maybe you can't see because the overlay I have, but if you scroll over it on your taskbar, it should say the title as well. Okay. So next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to actually make our button do something right now. It doesn't do anything. Well, it looks kind of cool if you click it. Next episode, we're going to do event handlers, uh, which means our button will actually perform an action for us and do what buttons should do. All right, so that's all for this time. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you all next time on Indie Programmer.